Jennifer. Rocky. Jazz, you're Jasmine. Okay, and how did you two meet? <laughs> so, we actually both came from racquetball families. And my brother and I used to play junior nationals. So we go to all the junior national tournaments around the country, just like his family would. And actually, the first junior nationals both of our families went to was in 1990 in Dallas, Texas. But we didn't technically meet there. He did know my brother. He played my brother every other year because of the age difference. So it goes 10s, 12s, 14, 16, 18. Those are the age divisions. But we met in Baltimore, Maryland. And I had known Rocky a really long time. And we were, my mom and I were walking into the club and there were glass wall racquetball courts as you we were walking in. And my brother was playing in it. David Likas. So um, we were walking in and as we were walking in, you know, we're kind of looking at the courts as you're walking in to see who was playing. And then Rocky was playing with Tyler Siggins on the left-hand side. And I don't remember who they were playing. I asked my mom, I go, who is that? She goes, you know who that is. And I said, no, I, I don't know who that is. Because he had gotten like a lot taller um, and kind of filled out. He used to be like this really scrawny like bean pole. Yeah, I'm a fat boy. <laughs> I'm a fat boy. No, you weren't a fat boy. <laughs> so anyhow, so... She goes, that's Rocky Curse. And I said, oh, well, when I was looking over, he kind of looked out and I was like, oh, that was weird, but didn't think anything of it. Well, that night he came over and he was talking to one of the girls I was hanging out with. Her name was Melissa, what's Melissa's Harmon. name? Harmon, Melissa Harmon. He asked us to go to dinner with his family and Tyler Siggins' family. So we went and had dinner and then we kind of hung out that tournament. And then at the end of the tournament, I said, do you want my phone number? And he goes, well, actually, I never call girls. Let me give you my phone number. Well, needless to say, I never called him. We actually did not talk once in two years. And he was actually going to a, a Christian athletic conference in Tempe or Scottsdale, that area of Phoenix and Junior Nationals happened to be at Tempe that year at ASU. And it was my brother's last year to play. So my brother is younger than Rocky. So Rocky couldn't play at the Junior Nationals because he was too old, but because he was there for this Christian Athletic Conference, he came to the tournament. And then we hooked up there, and then we got married, what, two years later? We've been together for 22 years now, 20 years marriage. Yeah, we got married June 9th. 2001. So do you want to add anything to that? No, that was very thorough. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in a racquetball family. My dad played, my mom played a little, but my dad played a lot. Like he got best sportsman in Nebraska, like many, many years. We're from Nebraska. My brother still plays, not as much. Uh, he became a teacher, but he was probably like, uh, like he, yeah, high open player. So I came from a racquetball family. So like even some of the older racquetball players, you know, like in from the juniors when they come around, I know them all because I was part of that. So I'm I'm kind of like part of racquetball in a way. <laughs> so when you tell people that your dad's a racquetball pro, do they recognize his name or? Uh, well, they definitely see him on the rackets on uh, like Dick's Sporting Goods or like any like sports like stores. They always like take a picture and you're like, oh, that's your dad. And I'm like, yeah. But if I tell them, they're like, oh, I've never heard of it. Or I would like tell them, they're like, oh, I know that. But a lot of older people know it rather than the younger. But he's actually been to like middle school last year. Uh, eighth grade, yeah, career days. He came in and taught, like, talked to me like, a couple classes. So. Do you think you uh, recruited any future racquetball pros? It, you know what, it's uh, one of those things is just getting them into the courts and it's hard to sometimes get them into those courts. You know, I'd love to see her playing a little bit more. She's a pretty good athlete and get my son out there. Uh, you, you know, as they get older, they're going so many different directions. And so for me, um, I just love having them around, having everybody around. You know, I have, I've ran some junior programs in the past. Right now I'm not doing that. I love doing it and it's a passion of mine. 
and hopefully in the future I get to do it again. Well, I am a senior for next year, and I'm thinking of being a teacher, so elementary teachers. Rocky and I actually do real estate together, so we're realtors. We work for Coldwell Banker, and I've been a realtor for 15 years, and he's been a realtor for five, six years. Yeah, so we do that together also on top of the rack of all. It's a nice transition. It's flexible with our schedules as, as professional athletes. Um, we have a lot of connections, which is good, relationships. And uh, it's uh, it allows me to keep on playing racquetball professionally, especially when I have a partner uh, that we get to do it together. Terrific. I just